Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Australia's Got Talent. The Star has defended its efforts to keep out illegal drugs following a Sunday Telegraph 7 News investigation. Traces of cocaine and amphetamines were found, but experts warn Sydney's drug use extends well beyond one night spot. When the Star's marquee nightclub held its glitzy launch last month, bosses promoted it as drug-free, a clean place to party. Oh, well, what do you think? I love it. But a series of tests by a former New South Wales detective has found several traces of narcotics. We found traces of cocaine on the drinks bar and also in the toilets. A 7 News Sunday Telegraph investigation found drug residue not just in the nightclub but also other parts of the casino. Amphetamines and cocaine in the Lotus restaurant, the poker room and the public gaming room toilets. Those drugs can cause an exponential increase in gambling losses because of a loss of control uh, and it makes it a very deadly combination. Experts point out the drugs are not confined to the star. What we know about these type of drugs are they're used where people socialise. The star has declined to do an interview on camera today, but it has issued a statement saying it has no tolerance for illegal drugs. It says its plan with Marquis was to try to keep the nightclub drug free. We have more than 12 million visitors a year to the Star and it would be naive to believe some people wouldn't attempt to bring drugs. We can't keep drugs out of a, out of a prison. How in heaven are we going to keep drugs out of a nightclub? The Star says it tries more than any other licensed venue in Sydney. Jodie Spears, 7 News. Strong